Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 2 of my village transformation from the realm of Vastin. Oh man, I can't wait to get working on this right after this. Okay, let's rock. I got to finish this wall today. So we're going to finish this wall, uh, work along the towers, and uh, while we'll work in some of the towers, let me just show you uh, a couple of the towers that I have done here very quickly. Uh, I, okay, uh, let's see here. Yeah, I, I like this. I, there's there's more coming to these towers that you haven't seen yet, and that's okay. We're going to save that for a special day. This tower is not complete yet, obviously. We need to do some work there. Um, you know, just bring in maybe some... Actually, you know what I could use? You know what I need, actually? I need a mine here. Like, I'm, I'm tired of going back and forth. Uh, so maybe I should do that. Like, so a germ told me on my live stream, the reason why all these guys are, are, fisher, are fishermen, like this guy is a mason and he's here because of this. Fishermen are here because of these barrels. These barrels are what make fishermen fishermen. So, uh, yeah, I didn't know that. I did. I thought barrels, uh, well, you know, whatever. I thought barrels were amazing, and they are. But I, I didn't realize that I was going to give all villagers in this area, uh, like the profession of fishermen, by using a lot of barrels, and that's not really ideal. So I think what I want to do is I need to make a mine here. Um, so that I can just have easy access, all that stuff. So if I'm going to do that, that means I need to go to Port Bray and I need to uh, snag myself an hour of haste because I'm not insane and I'm going to use that. So uh, let me show you where Cheeky Fox Glove is just in case you missed last episode. It's very close and I like that. I like that it's close and there is fast travel at Cheeky Fox Glove. Uh, generally, we, I don't use uh, fast travel at Little Hamlets and stuff like that. The reason why Cheeky Fox Glove got one in particular is because it is the uh it's the last uh the last place loyal to house denal in this area so uh so it was important you know it's important to 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 have sort of like okay this is the last outpost of this boy this this road needs to need some work and that's what i'm going to continue working on as i work on this uh this area here but this whole place yeah that's that's not so great <laughs> that's not so great so cheeky fox club is right around i think it's right past these trees actually and, uh yeah it is yeah because this is where the snow starts so um there it is. I see it. I see it. I see it out there. Right now, it's just a one house thing, but it may expand later. Uh, it looks like it's actually not even... Hmm. It's weird. Looking at it from this angle, there's some things I don't really love. I don't I don't love why I use all the stripped stuff. All the stripped on the side. That's weird. I guess it's... Oh, you know what? I always meant to come back and put fencing all along there. That's weird that I didn't do that. I really like the roof, though. Roofs turned out really nice. Hmm. Okay, well... Let's go get an hour of haste, and I'll show you uh, where to get it. No, I won't. No, I won't, because you can't... I don't think you can get down there without uh, an Elytra. And I don't have one of those at the moment. I don't have an Elytra. I think I'm the only one on the server without an Elytra. So, all right, well, let, let, let's just cut, and we'll, we'll meet back there. This place is amazing. It's so hard to get down there without an Elytra, but it's possible. But boy, it is it is a challenge. It is a challenge to get down there without an Elytra. So, uh, but I did it. I did it. <laughs> you have to swim underwater and it is real complicated to find the place. But we are now good. We got an hour of haste. So now I can head back to uh, my my place. I don't think there's a, there's not a way. There's not a way to get, uh, I can't, uh, do I have an, oh man, I wish I had ender pearls. No, okay. Um, I don't think I can get through the in the ship this way either. Oh man, this these everything needs a way in so I can get around. Uh, poor me without an electro. So anyway, yeah, the guardian farm is really cool. It's really cool, but but uh, but yeah, we're just we're in a little bit of a state of uh oh, a dolphin. That's why I'm so fast. Dolphin's grace, I think it's called. Anyway, okay, so I got a bunch of stuff, which is really cool. Now we're heading back to where. Where is the fast travel from this? Oh, yes, by the white square. Let me show you where it is because, man, it is confusing. It is really confusing to, to try to track it down. And uh, it took me a little bit of, uh, uh, of time, but I finally found it. So if you follow sort of this way over here, you'll get to the white square. Uh, and from the white square, you can find a couple different cards. Oh, hey, Ripper. Ha, 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 ha. 
man, he really thought he got me. Uh, let's see. This goes over this way. This should lead you down to the white square, I think. This might be a bit of a drop. I'm not sure. Let me see here. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, okay. This is That's the way to the, the, the Hall of Kinship. The Hall of Kinship is over there. This is a way that I think... I think you can slide down... Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know really... I don't know how to get around here. Ah! Oh, man. I've, I've fallen so much just trying to get over here. Okay. And let me show you where the card is in case you're playing on the tour server. Hey, Dimension, we have a tour server. I don't know if we did or not, but it'll be linked in this and every other video's description. If you want to walk around the realm of Vastin, which is, I mean, who wouldn't? You can just walk right around here and uh, come check it out. We have a special server that set aside uh, every month and every week or so, give, give or take, every week or so, I update that to the most recent copy of the realm of Vastin. So you can see builds that like uh callus did just today in just a few days you'll be able to get on and see that build in progress you'll just see what i'm working on what everyone else is working on. it's really 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 cool so uh if you are so inclined you can go check that out okay i'll, I'll, I'll meet you back at the little hamlet that we're working on all right, so I guess the first thing I need to decide is where the eventual blacksmith is going to be. Uh, since this is a village transformation and just making a new village, I guess maybe one of the things I should probably do is make the blacksmith be where the blacksmith is, which is right here. It's actually a pretty good location, honestly, for the blacksmith as far as it goes. So let's cut down a couple trees. Now, I went to the Guardian Farm Temple, which, if you don't know, that is our super, super beacon. That's where the other super beacons draw their power from in the lore. So it gives you an hour of haste but it gives you an hour of hate that one now the other ones give you an hour of haste three this one gives you an hour of haste four which is really cool unfortunately this beacon is or this this uh i just realized that this this axe being a crappy axe is only haste or is only efficiency four if this were an efficiency five uh pickaxe uh or i mean axe rather is the word then you would actually get uh, uh, insta mine trees, which is super cool. It's the only way that, that you could do that is if you travel the whole way to the guardian farm, because it's so the, the lore behind the guardian farm is, you know, how guardians give you a, uh, they give you a, a debuff, like mining fatigue debuff. Well, the lore is that the people, uh, in this world harnessed one guardian farm and figured out how to reverse engineer the power so instead of giving you mining fatigue it can give you an hour of really extra super fast um, haste now it's really far and you know I, oh, even with fast travel you still got to travel there and but i think that's that's kind of part of the beauty right so um yeah, it, it's, it's, it's just a cool thing. It's just a really cool thing. And, and um, it wasn't actually, it wasn't my idea. Uh, well, the, the mining, the mining clank guild was, was my idea. But, but as far as, uh, as far as the, the one super beacon, like the one, the one ring to control them all, uh, that, that was uh, who like old, old gray man and, and I Jim way and Mollus and the whole VD uh, truth master command, the whole VD crew uh, really was kind of behind that. So um, yeah, super awesome. Uh, super awesome. Love it. So, Let's go. Now, I just chopped down some wood because I want to make a ladder. And when I my, when I make up a... Uh, you know what I want? Crap. I want a bucket of water for sure. Just in case things go badly. I think... That, oh, I can actually use that. <laughs> I think that I have some iron somewhere. Let me just see if I can track it down. Ooh. I didn't know I had obsidian. That is going to be useful. I can't remember why I want obsidian, but I am happy that I have obsidian because for some reason I was thinking, oh man, I wish I had obsidian. Uh, there's some iron. Okay, cool. So I can just make a bucket. That's fine. Let's just make a bucket of water because you know what? Things could go wrong. <laughs> Things could absolutely go wrong here. Uh, we'll do that. And uh, in fact, actually, since that crafting table is already there, now we'll fill up the water somewhere. Somewhere there's got to be some water around here. There's some water. Okay. I've been I've been moving these farms. I've definitely decided we're going to use corn. This is beetroot in Jermsey's uh, texture pack, so we're definitely going to use corn for sure. I think that'll be a really great, uh, really great addition uh, to, for the field outside of the town. That'll be super cool. And uh, yeah, this is where our mine's going to be. It's going to be right here, and we're going to be facing uh, which way is east? We're going to be facing east. Okay, let's go. Let's go, everybody. Oh man, I don't see how this could possibly go badly. <laughs> I do. I, I'm sitting here right now with my water, with my finger on my water bucket key. And cool. We did it. 
we did it just like that easy 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 okay that's the wall that's the wall that's gonna have uh the the ladder on it and just like this just like this we got uh not bad we got a little mine uh boy isn't it nice isn't it nice having having an hour of haste so uh yeah so we're gonna be working on the wall and maybe a blacksmith today no let's just do the wall today let's just do the wall today oh that's not a torch that's okay i can make one though uh what I, I i brought down all this wood because i want to have uh two things let me see okay that's gonna be that i think oh. okay this is gonna this is gonna be the crafting bench right and this oh darn it i did it again uh is gonna be the water right there okay now oh uh, now let's go here and let's see i didn't realize i had that on still um how many ladders do i need i need like 64 probably no 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 i need like 50 something i need like 50 that's enough i need that i that many i just need that many <laughs> okay uh let's put this back on, on the wall and build this up okay this is not so bad not so bad so okay village transformation project the reason why i brought this wood down here because i want to have some chests down here for like cobble and stone and all that kind of stuff because uh um, you know, it's, I, I, I don't need to haul all of that back up every time I go. The other thing I'm thinking about doing is I'm thinking about doing a real mining session down here because our stores of, of diamond are not, not awesome. They're not awesome, you know, and, uh, it's something that we need to sort of keep in mind. Oh, okay. Nothing in here. Okay. You know what? this is where i want to fall down right here so we're gonna to have to expand the size of this just a little bit and that is okay that's all right um i have some cobble let's do some cobble right up to like there yeah okay let's go here and we're just gonna do it straight down let's see let's see if i make it down two times in a row without dying together live on camera uh you know i was watching um I was watching Wells Kingdom video actually uh, yesterday, and uh, he had like 250. Oh, there we go. Okay, oh, we're all good. We're all good. Everything is totally cool. Awesome. Uh, you know, the the dude had like 250 or something levels somewhere around there, and then he died, and it made me feel so much better because I'm I I, I never have that much. I can't. I die way too much, and like I, I don't get that many levels generally like that's not i don't do things that give me a ton of levels so uh yeah 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 so i was i was like, kind of happy i was like ha ha all right i'm not the only i'm not the only one that that you know has been playing this game for years and still just constantly dies so uh good <laughs> good good uh sorry sorry you died wells but but good <laughs> it makes me feel a little bit better all right i don't need redstone like at all uh let's just let's just you know what let's just fill this in i don't really want mobs to be spawning underneath me either but i don't want to go down below here okay cool all right so we got a mine we got a mine now which is good because i need some stuff you know i need some stuff in here so let me do some mining um i'm gonna make a whole bunch of chests uh all that i can which is a lot okay wow that's a lot of chests and uh yeah we're just gonna do storage down here we're just gonna do some storage like this um I'm gonna have to dig this out just a little bit, like something like this. Yeah, I mean, you want this to be a little bit bigger anyway, don't you? You want to be, you want the ceiling like right on your head. And this doesn't have to be beautiful, you know. It doesn't have to be astonishingly, stunningly beautiful. It is a mine after all, and but uh, yeah. So I'm thinking, just do like actually, you know what? Let's let's change this. Let's do it. Let's do it more like this. Let's go. Let's go in the wall. Uh, two blocks like this. I wouldn't mind getting that iron as well uh for sure i'm gonna have to make some like blast furnaces and all that kind of stuff as well here because i don't have any of that stuff i'm gonna be here for basically the entire month of june that's this is my plan i'm gonna be here for a month uh that's the idea so uh we'll just go like this you know like real real simple like this um yeah right yeah okay that's how you do it and i just have room for two okay cool and then i'll put one of these right here um, and that'll just be for like specials, like diamonds, maybe I'll only put diamonds there. Just some, something that, you know, whatever. Okay. 
Cool. So I got a way in now, which is great. And I don't have signs and stuff like that yet, but that's all right. Uh, let me see. Oh, man, so nice that you can do that in Java. It's so nice. Uh, I think I used most of my wood. Yeah. Let's see. If I do this... Yeah, I won't have enough, but it's okay. I can go make more, but I'll have enough for at least the beginnings of this stuff. So let's do, uh, let's do cobble. Let's do stone. Uh, and let's do, uh, diorite and the site in granite. Okay. And then everything else we'll put like in, in here, right? So, uh, cause I don't care if these, I don't care if these, if these blend together at all, that'll be dirt and this will be ores. Okay, cool. So we got it. We got it all set up. Now we're all ready. Let me go do some mining. I'm going to develop some stuff and then we'll come back. So I have mending on my pickaxe. I don't know if you noticed that. My, my, it's a fortune three pickaxe. It's, it's like my backup, 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 backup pickaxe. And, uh, I, um, what I, I kind of forgot that if you don't have mending on all the rest of your, your gear, what's really cool is that you're, you're, uh, just by mining ores and stuff, it, it's generally a wash, uh, which is awesome, which is amazing. So, uh, I've mined quite a bit. And as long as I'm getting, as long as I'm taking like all the redstone, all that kind of stuff, I, my pickaxe is staying like fully charged, which is super cool. Uh, because I, I, I need, I don't need all the ores. Like I don't need redstone really at all. Uh, as you know, uh, but uh, but it's been really nice. It's been really nice to just be able to mine a whole bunch and not really have to worry about, uh, you know, going the whole way out and repairing my my one mending piece of gear or whatever. But uh, as you can see, one trip is already done, and uh, it's I didn't go that far. And look at how much how much uh, ore we got. We got all this all this redstone, some lapis, eighteen diamonds. That's not too bad. Some coal, and I have been grabbing all the andesite I see because I think andesite is going to be a, a big building block in this area. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna go return this and do maybe maybe two more of these short little trips, and then uh, and then we'll come back. Also, it wouldn't it wouldn't kill me to get to level 30 because if I want to enchant out here, that would be cool. I remember now also the other thing that I wanted to make is I want to make a once I find some obsidian, I do want to make um, a uh, an Ender chest. Uh, so I think to do that is that you need a you need Ender probe, but you need like a blaze do you need blaze rod do you need like a eye of ender i i think i suspect maybe you do and if that's the case then forget it because i certainly don't need blaze rod here uh so maybe i'll just head back to port bray and grab one of those not a big deal so all right well that's that you know, I, I, I was reading through comments, uh, kind of watching a, a Mythical Sausage stream, and a comment hit me that uh, I am an idiot. I am an idiot. I didn't realize, I didn't remember about a grindstone. Uh, someone, and oh, forgive me, I can't remember who it was, but someone suggested, hey, use a grindstone for those terrible enchants. And I'm like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a totally a thing that I can do now so I can fix my, my stupid tools. So I went to an ender chest. Now I don't have enough obsidian here to make one, but I did get one blaze powder because honestly, I don't remember if to make an ender chest, if you need, um, if, if it's, if it's, if it's an ender pearl or if it's a, what do you call it? The other, the other thing, the thing, the, the other thing, uh, what's that? What, what's that called? Wait a second. Water has, didn't used to be purple. Jerm, did you change water to purple in the end? Because I have Optify now. Oh, man, that's so cool. That's so cool. Our end, by the way, we had a small issue. Our end, whenever we went... So we went from spigot to vanilla whenever 114.2 came out. And our performance wasn't great, but it was good enough that we could actually, you know, upgrade and get all the new blocks and stuff, which is cool. And then spigot came back out. Now, we're not running any plugins uh, at all except for Dynamap. And we have one, a singular plugin that allows you to go into survival now. Uh, you can't go into creative and you can't go into anything else, only survival. But the idea is that if you go to, uh, if you go to the Adventurers Guild and you go into Spectator for a screenshot or just to check a build or whatever, then you can go slash survival and go back. So it's pretty cool. But let's get this rolling. Where are the Endermen? Endermen? Oh, here they come. Just took a little bit. Just took a little bit, but now they're here. So using this grindstone, this is going to be really cool. I'll be able to pop this guy. Oh, there is one over there. I'll take this one with me. But so I got a couple things that are terrible. Like, for example, this is a terrible axe. 
but I'm going to I'm going to combine it with this one because this is efficiency four, which is cool. Also, uh, I have my backup mending books, which these are old, but these are all the mending books I had from a long time ago. So I haven't I've been holding off using them because I wanted to make sure they got my tools like the right tools and, and all that kind of stuff. But I do have all the mending books that I have. So I thought we could we could we could drop that on a couple things and like this efficiency three. That is just the worst ever. So I'm just going to take it out. Boom. There, and I got one level of experience. Wow, that is just terrible. That is just, just horrible. The thing is, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna, I don't know. I, I don't think I'm gonna put mending on this gear. I, I like the idea of wearing leather. I'm gonna wear it for a while, um, but I don't know. I mean, zombie flesh is really easy to come by. And so thus leather is really easy to come by because that's one of our custom recipes that you can smelt zombie flesh into leather so. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. 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 Uh, let me see here. So what do I want to do? <laughs> I just want to kill this one. Enderman. Why are there no Endermen up there at all? There are like no Endermen. There's only three of us on. Uh, this is not so great. I don't know what is going on here. Let me dump all these. What's what's happening here? Can I, can I, uh, uh no, I want to do this. <laughs> the other way around. Okay. Get, get rid of all those Ender Pearls. Why? I mean, these hanging here are probably not good, but why? There are no Endermen dropping at all. Uh, I don't think that I have a way up there either since I can't fly. Um, I don't know what to do. I know that I don't have a backup Elytra. Let me just check again for that, like, 30th time. Yeah, there's no backup Elytra in there. This is wood. Um, hmm. I don't know what to do. Uh, there are no Endermen. Is the Enderman thing broken? I have to get there and check somehow. Huh. Okay, well, I'll be back. You know what I need? I need a church of the end. I need a church of the end because I have been traveling back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, and every village can have a church of the end. So I figured let's do one here on camera and uh, I can just show you how it's done. So uh, to do command block stuff, unfortunately, you have to be in uh, in creative. That uh, I wish that there was a way. I wish that there was another way around it, but there's not. So uh, let me toss all this stuff here for right now because then we should be able to come back uh, rather quickly here. My, my spawn is here. So um, Mollus has been working on the end, which is uh, what I didn't know is like tearing out all kinds of like, um, oh man, what, what, what else is she doing? She's taking out all the obsidian portals and stuff. Uh, like literally there's like four obsidian portals left. Why? I have no idea. I have no idea what the grand plan is, but it's extreme. If it's Mollus, it's extreme. So yeah, something something going on probably with the guardian farm and a build using obsidian or something. Yeah, oh, that's that's a level of grind that I just don't have. But let me show you what I'm doing with the church of the end. Now we're not building a church this episode. We're gonna save that for a future episode. But as far as we can get a functioning church of the end now and then build a church kind of around it, I think that would probably work out just fine. So let me show you where it is and then we'll do the command block stuff together. So uh, again, this is the blacksmith and there's a there's a church here in this little village. So I'm just gonna do the church of the end in the church so this is the church it's very small it's probably too small now I it needs to be some small so what I did is I came out the back and just to keep it centered I made the fall right here so let's go game mode I ought myself uh, let's go game mode creative let's go right about here okay and uh, we need to clear out a little space um, okay about that big and maybe just a hair bigger make sure all the redstone can work okay so first thing we gotta do is we gotta need to put down in this and this nope that's not right this and this that's how you do it yeah okay i am no redstone master but uh uh okay now i need to uh trip okay so i need trip wire and i need string so let's do a trip wire here and we'll go i think there that's connected okay cool now that should do a redstone signal uh, I, ha I have so much redstone. Uh, it's it's fine if we just use it. You know, I think maybe I have to do this. I think. I I think that's all I need, actually. I think I don't even need that. Well, yeah, maybe I do need that. Let's just do that. Okay. And then we'll do give fix command block. Okay. There we go. And what we're going to do is we are going to uh teleport at player and then i i got the coordinates off the wiki those aren't the exact right coordinates so i'm just going to put it done for now and then uh i'm going to write down these coordinates so these are 
wait, these are minus seven, eight, nine, three, three, five, two, one, six, five. And let's copy that and I'm just gonna paste it in chat. Okay, and then let, let me test. So if I just touch this, then I should be teleported to, yeah, see I'm teleported here. Okay, so that's not exactly right. Somehow I fell like through the earth. That's okay. So what what I need to do is I need to fly up here and get the coordinates of the absolute, uh, well, where you're supposed to teleport in. Um, if you're new to the channel, by the way, these are the only only uh, creative things we do. We do a couple command block things because you have to do them creative. I wish there was a survival way. We would do it in survival if so, uh, but there's not, sadly. So we do that, and we, and we do uh, structure blocks to move a giant, enormous forest worth of custom trees. Um, but just in case you're new and you're like, what is this What is this cheating stuff? Let's go right here. So we'll go right about here, and I'm going to write down these coordinates. Minus 2, 4, 6. Um, 2... Four six, one nine, one five. Okay. Okay. So that's where I actually want it to teleport me to, right? Um, and then what I'll do is I will just go back. Uh, let's see here. Let's go. TP. Well, I don't need to do that. I can just do that. Okay. Cool. All right. And then we'll change this to. Wait a second. There we go. Let's cut. Copy this paste that okay let's test it Boop. oh there we go so now i'm right here so i can go right to the end pretty cool right um okay let's go back uh should be good all i need to do now is get rid of the command block get rid of the redstone and let's just build this mm -hmm. i don't really want to... oh i knew that was gonna happen i knew that was gonna happen darn it uh let's see <laughs> let me go up here and here and here and here and here and here and should be good right can you see through there yeah you can actually uh okay there and there and let's test this up the way it's meant to be and all the rest of this stuff like for for having the pistons move and all that kind of stuff i'll do all that uh i'll do all that in uh, uh survival of course you know so let's go survival and let's go Boom, there we go. Not too shabby. Nice way to get to the end, cool. And then you take this fall and it works great. Now we had to put this water, this water This water didn't used to be there. We had to put this water in, but you know what? I like it. I like it because that way you can actually see this end city that I made uh, that no one's ever seen because you always fall through it too fast. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, a lot of times this water doesn't flow quite fast enough. So you're kind of stuck, but that's all right. That's all right. All right, let me go do a whole bunch of stuff that I need to, to do as far as enchanting my tools. And then we'll come back and we'll talk about finally building the wall or are we just going to do i don't know what we're going to do for the rest of the episode well i'll, I'll meet you back at the little hamlet i I've, I've got to seriously do something about these guys these guys just live in this house constantly and i i already died once because i killed i hit the golem whenever i was trying to break my my spinning wheel thing whatever it's called uh it's just it's getting too intense in this house i need to do something to get these guys out of here uh i'm not sure what to do <laughs> it's one of the downsides apparently of living in a village is uh yeah i i didn't know about that one thing i want to do though is i want to find that obsidian that i brought over here and i want to make a uh an ender chest so I have access to that here and I there it is okay let me see if I can if I can possibly figure out how to do that uh here I have one blaze okay let me see if it's this first if it's this is it that no okay all right so it must be then in that case this so you must have to do this and this look I got the enchantment okay okay cool awesome so I got that now I don't have a silk touch uh pick so I have to put this in the right place so let's put it there good now i have access to that that's a really good thing now i should be ready to go to the end i think and do this but i hate i kind of hate to do that because mollus is actually working in the end right now so i think what i'm gonna do instead is put all of my like lapis and diamonds in my ender chest because i have access to that in the end uh and this and why not that as well and then i think uh let me see let me put all these back as well let me see um, let me see. And then, uh, I think what I'll do I, while I'm waiting, cause I, I, I hate to have Mollus like stop working. She's doing something that's awesome is I think I'll build up this wall because what I had when I wasn't recording, I had a pillager patrol or maybe just a, a couple dudes. I, I don't even know, but they came right in here. They like walked right in. 
Uh, now, fortunately, luckily for me, it wasn't a full patrol with like the guy with the sign that would give me the bad omen effect and all that kind of stuff, which would be really bad. Um, but it made me think, holy crap, I need to get this wall uh, up uh, like now. So um, in, in, ca in case we get more of this. So I think we better work on the wall. You know, as much as I was enjoying doing the all the, the end and getting new tools and stuff like that, we can put that off till next episode and uh, really just make sure that this wall gets built up uh, high enough that it'll protect these guys and me from a pillager patrol because, man, I do not want that. Uh-oh. Hmm, that seems like some shenanigans. What, uh, what is this? Oh, man. Oh, man, there is some PvP going on in the server right now. Oh, that's string. That's why. Oh, I had string in my offhand. I couldn't figure out why that was placed that way. Anyway, let me work on building up these walls because that, that was the initial attempt at, at, at this episode, and it needs to it needs to happen. So I'm going to build up these walls the whole way around here, at least, even if I don't decorate them, just to build them up. Uh, so, oh, hey, Callus. Hey, I was just telling Callus where my little uh, village overhaul is going. Uh, hey. Uh, and, and I'll see. Maybe I'll get Callus to own voice. Callus, Fix. What's happening, dude? I just saw you fly overhead. I was recording a little clip and you just go flying like a bird over my head. I was coming to see what you were working on over here. Yeah, so this is my kind of June project. You have won it yourself, which I've got to see. Maybe next episode we should uh, we should go over there and check out your little June project. Sure. Yeah. Well, I'm just I'm just doing a lots of little things on the road, but yeah, I love it. I love the little things. So let me just show you around what I've been doing. So Germ, Germ and I worked on this wall a little bit on stream. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing real special. Just kind of just a wall. Uh, I have some plans for this village. They're going to be very cool. Uh, but this is an old village. You know, this isn't the new special villager uh, village that we have from the village and pillage. This was generated before. So I got yep. some work to do. Uh, so I'm just kind of overhauling some of the houses here. Um, uh, I just made a little mining thing in in, uh, in the blacksmith. This is I'll, I'll overhaul this blacksmith, but there's a there's an actual mine uh, down there. It's just a strip mine, you know. I just need materials, and it's far. As you saw when you got here, it's far. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, it's a long walk. Yeah, yeah, and and, and the thing is, is that if I take the horse to to over there to Cheeky Fox Club, which is cool because I don't have an electra anymore because I'm a noob. Uh, then I and then I go to the end or something. Then I come back here, and. Then my horse is over there, so I have to walk really far over there. No, keep it. I don't want to back up a leg. I'm going to earn it myself from phantoms. Are you sure? I am sure. I I'll probably right. change my mind after, like, one more day of walking. But you know what? I got I to gotta <laughs> be honest. I got to be honest. I've really enjoyed my time walking uh, very much. Like, I feel a lot more immersed. Now, but I don't have the... I don't know what you call it. I don't have, like, the self-control to not fly if I can fly. Right. Yeah. But but now you're getting to see everything. It's it's totally true. I feel like I'm so like like part of the world and not like just flying over. I've really enjoyed it. I might go a while without an elytra. I actually I know if I had one, I'd just put it on and just go because it's faster. <laughs> yeah. Uh. But but yeah. So so I the other thing I just did today is I just made my church at the end and it's literally there. That's that's it. <laughs> that that will take you to it's the a end. Hole. <laughs> it's a hole Jeez. because this I was gonna put it in the church, but this church is so small. If you walk in, yeah. You walk in, you're like, well, if the people sit here, where's like the 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 minister sitting? Like here? Is it sitting in their lap? I mean, it's 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 <laughs> yeah. very small. So I may need to expand expand it. So I, I kind of came to the conclusion. Have you ever overhauled a village before? Um, no, I don't think I have. I never really had either. And I, I kind of came to what I was going to do is I was going to like keep the bones of the places and then make them better. Right. I don't think that's gonna work <laughs> i think i'm just gonna have to basically demolish it and like okay there is a church now i'll just build a church kind of where yeah, this was exactly uh you know there was there is a blacksmith so then i'll just build a blacksmith kind of where it was and because it, it just need a little bit more size i don't want it to be huge but it's got to be a little bigger than it is you know yeah and i i know there's definitely a there's quite a few series of people doing basically that using the the same footprint mm -hmm. and just making it you know not this yeah exactly Exactly. And that's what I did with the first house. I tried to over, I tried to keep it the same. Uh, and then it's, it's not, it's like, it's like there's a whole second floor and yeah, it's just, you know, this is the only house that I did in episode one of this little mini series, but, um, but yeah, it's been fun. So what, what have you been working on? Like, tell, tell me some of the stuff you've been doing. So I started off, uh, with that, uh, wheat filled and the windmill and stuff. Um, and then I just did like a little, uh, few little waterfalls and ponds and then i put like a like a little camp out cave somewhere in the 
the background off the road. Uh, and then recently just ended up putting in like some houses and, you know, it's like a little, a little community area. Well, why don't we set up a time here to see, to see sort of what you've been doing in progress. And, uh, so we can show everybody I'm almost out of time on this one. So let's do that next episode. Is that cool? Sounds good. All right. We'll see you next. See you next time, Kyle. Yep. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Thank you, YouTube members and patrons. You guys make everything we do possible. I really appreciate it. I say it every episode. I'll keep on saying it every episode. Really from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate it. Uh, Vast and Dimensions crew is coming in strong. My goodness. I'm going to build some stuff. I can't wait to show it off next. Uh, next episode, we're going to pick up right where we left off. I realized that we were out of time, so I didn't even do a second clip uh, after the Callus thing. We're going to start with Callus next episode, uh, show off what he's been working on, and then come back and uh, sort of finish the walls and work on some other stuff in the little Hamlet project. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. Uh, let me know if you're enjoying this sort of mini, mini series of Bastin for the month of June before we get into the proper big giant builds and all that kind of stuff. Let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. I, I sure love comments. So I'll see you next time. Bye. -bye.